What's up everyone? Here to do One Piece 737 and I really enjoyed this week's chapter. The pacing was a little slow at times but just seeing Sabo actually fight in one of his moves was just it was really cool to see even though we haven't seen his face. I just thought it was a really cool moment and it brings up a lot of questions definitely as far as his skill level and where he is as far as the power system of One Piece or where he is like uh, amongst other characters. But yeah, I really enjoyed that part and overall I thought it was a pretty good chapter. Um even some of the other things that we got weren't that bad. Seeing how people were actually turned into toys, it was interesting as well. But anyways, I'll get into the review. So the chapter starts off where we left off with Luffy, Zoro, and everyone encountering Pika, one of the elite officers. And we find out from Vela that he's a stone stone man but um i'm not exactly sure what he is because or what kind of devil fruit he has just because he can manipulate the stone and yeah i'm just not sure whether that's a logia type or i don't know i was a little confused about that but um and he was find out that he can not only become stone he can manipulate it and he ends up closing the walls on them and we don't know what happens after that but right after we jump right into the action of the final round of the tournament and jesus burgess is using this move called surge elbow and he sends one of these flying fish or these bullfish flying and um right after a bullfish with the devil fruit uh comes up and i'm i just am wondering like how would they know that unless like they've knocked out all the other bullfish but i mean that that is a possibility but it's going after Rebecca, but at the last minute, Sabo grabs it. And right after that, Diamante says he won't let him have it that easily. And I just thought this was a really cool moment also. But I believe Sabo ends up breaking his sword in half, and it really surprises Diamante. He's like, whoa, like, who is this kind of? But right after that, uh, Jesus is about to take them both out according to him and him and Sabo both lined up and Sabo uses this move called Dragon Talons and uh, all a talon is is just like claw it's just Dragon Claw and oh my gosh he puts hockey you can clearly see the darkness in his hand and that he's using hardening hockey and he ends up breaking Jesus Burgess's uh armor which oh my gosh it really surprised me and like i said it brings up a lot of questions um is he stronger than luffy um if you ask me in my opinion so far even though you can't say too much because we haven't seen luffy go all out as well and i feel like sabo definitely is will do anything not to let people get aces devil fruit but anyways it just raises the question uh, is he stronger? And uh, like I said, I believe Sabo is stronger than Luffy right now because Jesus Burgess, from what I understand, is like Blackbeard's almost second in command. Like he's one of his, he's always by Blackbeard. Like he's one of his main Nakama. And I just feel like he, if, I think he's like the first or second fl fleet commander. And if you go by how the Whitebeard crew was, uh, first, second, third was definitely depending on strength so if Sabo is able to hold his own not only hold his own break the armor of the first in command or one of the uh, top people in command of the Blackbeard Pirates he's definitely on a completely different level than I feel like than Luffy is just because like Blackbeard is a Yonko so I mean we've seen Ace we've seen Marco and we know Luffy is nowhere near that level just from the war so, I mean, like I said, we're not exactly sure yet because he hasn't really fought anyone like super, super capable, which hopefully we'll get to see him fight down Flamingo. But <laughs> anyways, they have their little clash and Sabo breaks his armor with hockey and he says he won't let him have it that easily. And people are surprised and Diamante notices. He said, is that Straw Hat? Because his style doesn't see the seem the same because he doesn't know that Luffy's at another part of the island so yeah that's why he says that so in the next uh, couple panels we go over to the executive tower and cabin is in there and he wakes up to uh, trebles like slimy crap all around him and he's a little confused but 
Um, they end up turning him into a toy right before our eyes. And I mean, we know how they are, they're turning into toys, but it, it's just interesting to see like exactly what they say and do. So pretty much, um, she turns them into a toy and I guess they have to obey her or, or obey the Don Quixote family. So I'm not exactly sure how her devil works exactly because I don't see what that has to do with turning them into toys, but uh, maybe it makes them obedient toys. But pretty much there are all these people that are in this factory who are doing all this work against their will and they can't even do anything about it. They just have to do it and they know in their conscience that like, what am I doing? I'm not supposed to be here doing this right now. And yeah, I just thought that was really interesting. But right after that, we go over to Usab and all the little fairies are um not fairies i'm sorry but um they we go over there and they plan on giving sugar a spice instead of uh her candy and they're gonna make her pass out and that's how the toys were, uh, will go back to life or e go back to normal and everybody will be turned back and don flamingo will be exposed so I'm definitely interested uh, in what's going on with them just because it could be happening very soon. Maybe in the next chapter even there's going to be a lot of chaos. But yeah, that's all I have. Like I said, this chapter was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I moved the story on a lot. Uh, I really liked seeing Sabo fight for the first time. I thought that was really cool. And um, also it surprised me that um, he just like brushed Diamante to the side. Like he just cut his sword in half like it was nothing. And it even surprised him. So Sabo is definitely powerful. Uh, but anyways, like I said, that's all I have. Let me know what you guys think. Um, there's a break next week. So no review. But anyways, that's all I have. And thanks.